how to use ChatGPT inside my Pandasuite project is one of the main questions you are having right now. So let's have a look at this quick example and understand how to use OpenAI API to integrate a ChatGPT feature inside your app. So let's uh, understand this example in which you are asking ChatGPT, why should I eat? And you have various example here, so you can click on the images and uh, understand the answer of ChatGPT, or you can also uh, type and uh, use the text input to get some answer. So to use ChatGPT inside your project, you should first go to the HTTP component because this is the one you'll be using to connect to OpenAI API. Inside this component, you can see you are having a URL, some content, but also some API key. So let's understand how to fill in this information. Everything is coming from OpenAI uh, documentation. So if you go inside the documentation and probably much more to the chat, to the So, and much more to the API reference, you can choose the chat endpoint, and this is where you get all the um, parameters of, of the API. Here you got the post and the URL you need to use, and also some information about the request body in terms of messages, model, and everything you need to use. You can see also here that you need to use a authorization with the bearer and API key, which is the personal information. So let's have a look here. Uh, inside the component and inside uh, Panda Suite, you use this URL inside uh, here. You use the post method. And in terms of content, you can see that we are using the array messages and the model text that is coming from the, uh, you know, here from the API documentation itself. In terms of message, you need to use uh, the content and the role you want to, to display. So inside here, you will see that there is a content and the role so the user. In terms of content, this is um, the prompt you'll be using. So the prompt is, give me some reason why I should eat a and this is a variable now. If you don't give me a humorous answer, uh, keep it short and use sentences. So this prompt is simply uh, in here. And as you can see inside, we are using a variable, which is a selected fruit. Where does this variable come from? Uh, simply from the text input of the user selection by clicking on the image. Uh, in here, you've got an action that is going to be creating a variable uh, using the input um, from the user. And this is the variable that will be used inside the request. So if I go back to the HTTP component here, uh, we've got some information about the URL, the content type, but there is also the API key with the authorization and the specific value you need to use. So to have this information, this is highly confidential and this is something that you need to keep for yourself. You go to the API keys and you're going to be creating a new secret key. So you choose the name and in terms of permission, you should use a restricted. Okay. And uh, in terms of model capabilities, uh, just change to write. Okay and then create the secret key that's here. You copy and go back here. And in terms of value, you're going to be typing bearer than the API key as mentioned in the documentation. If you go inside the HTTP component, you can directly test the request here and make sure that everything is correctly done. Okay. With the message and so on. And you can preview directly and try it from your Panda Suite Studio. 
Okay, that's easy. You can, of course, use any prompt you want. And now it's your turn to find some creative ideas. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments.